Hello world, welcome to Pakistan, this is 19. Amazing and you are looking at official of Pakistan strategic forum. YouTube one block four of thunder, so let's get to the video we've been talking about for a long time. Seeing places where people are talking a lot about the JF-17 Thunder Block 4. Wondering what features it has and what is currently inside it. It has progress in many things and some people have gone as far as we. Discussion started on where should we export and its exports. So we decided let's make a video on it first let me tell you. Let me tell you that the JF-17 project is based on the concept of block building. Designed and if we go to block 2, J-17 Thunder is the fourth generation aircraft. Talk about Bravo or even talk but block 3 is fourth plus end. It has only one region, radar from P-15, P-12 and AE. Also it comes with PA-10 which is AOS capable missile which can be equipped with HMD. It is true that what is connected with it is based on the concept of block building. Above is the ship in which we first saw block 1 and then block 2. So that means saw the dual seat variant and now we saw block 3 which is the highest of it. There is a modern type but remember one thing is lightweight fighter planes. The frame has limitations in terms of modifications, upgrades, etc. We have traveled from block 2 to block 3, within which we have built the majority of the A-frame. Changes have been made in that we have added a hard point inside the symbol which is. There is a dry hard point on it i.e. Mija IL can't be taken, it just. Carry and dual targeting pod jamming pods is for the increase of racks means we've added dual racks inside block 3 plus we've got 4 if you put dual engines in it you have to redesign the entire airframe this is not an easy task and if you redesign the entire airframe if you have to create a new ship it means that you cannot give the same name to the ship again your previous project that is underway is the J-17 Thunder project which is a light. Met fighter aircraft is a project in gradation that we have done within Block 3. This is my maximum upgrade for a lightweight fighter. If we look at the A-frame of an airplane, yes, we can see it in the future. Those minor upgrades should be done within the block, such as some avionics upgrades. Something better should be added to the air-to-air -air weapon package. The ground weapons repackage should be upgraded or something within the anti-sea operations. Thus better missiles can be integrated but not a major upgrade like Block 2. It was a major upgrade from Block 3. It's the kind of big upgrade I'm not expecting. is doing and that's because it's a light fighter so block 4. According to me it does not exist nor does any official refer to it. Information is not available and there is no source of information that any block 4. Work is being done above because whenever there is an R&D above something because R&D. This is the first step in building a block, so if R&D starts, then you must have known that these things are said in the official PR that the next block is coming. Just like when block 2 came, then many times for block 3, which... Reports are coming from PRS, Air Force personnel and many other sources. It has integrated radar with AAS and has many systems inside. If there is an upgrade, its airframe limitations should be achieved approximate. If we upgrade it above that we get the airframe of the ship. It will have to be redesigned a lot of people were also talking about the J-17 Thunderblock. That the work on Block 3 was going on and then the pictures of Block 3 started coming. Is there any
any such update regarding Block 4 yet. Whether it will be clarified or exported, these are far-fetched matters. NDD didn't even start and according to me it's fine since J-17 Thunder. It is a lightweight fighter because we have made it A-5. We can change our F-7. If you can replace the skids, you're almost done. 3. I already consider the icing on the cake and the limitations of the airframe. If I look at it with one eye, I don't see the possibility of Block 4. Over time, anything within Block 3 will be upgraded to minor. There will be upgrades, not major ones, the way we did from Block 2 to Block 3. And because of the upgrades I told you about earlier, it's possible that some. The missile package can be improved and its air-to-air -air capability can also be improved. Improved ground warfare or air-to-sea with NTC capability. The Magid is said to be slightly improved and minor avionics upgrades are also possible. But the way major upgrades have gone from Block 2 to Block 3, like this. An upgrade I don't expect due to airframe limitations. A lightweight fighter, so according to me, anything you get above Block 4 is social. Information is available on the media whether it will contain these specifications or not. Will it be a dual engine or a large enough ship to be exported there? These are things that have no merit if you look at them from an engineering perspective. If you look, you will understand that there is more inside the airframe. You can't upgrade and when we see Block 3 we're already there. Maximum and maximum airframe limits are achieved. By my calculations, Block 3 will be followed by a Thunder Block. Will not come i.e. Block 4 will not come as I told earlier Block. It is quite a different matter if any progress is made within the 3, but the method. There is a big change from Block 2 to Block 3. What I don't expect is people talking about making it a dual engine again. If this is given you will have to replace the airframe with a complete core. Then it will no longer be the same fighter program, a new fighter would have to be redesigned. If something like that happens inside this fighter, he will have another program because... It is a lightweight fighter craft, whether it has dual engines inside or its airframe. If you want to watch the video it's impossible to enlarge it, so that's it for today. If you like, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also give us your valuable advice in the comments section.